next uh, for his parent. Thank you very much, the DIG and the Finally, Secretariat. Please are welcome. Cold as. We bamu la biyeku mukolo guafe. Tui savan tu bona bechikwata ko. DPP wali. Aba prisons zivaze. Aba la la bona mujalo si. Kati toso bora kule misango jino weka. Chovu la bomo mukolo guetu vako bona baba dewo. So bora gati la wamu amagez. So bora kende zaku meni bwa mateka. Teri si yali mazeko kumenya bwa mateka. Teri yo. Wabola tui no kule chisovoka. Okulaba tuke ndere za dara Abantu wa feba Sogoloko ya galira mkwanga Nemire mbejiri wano Na ye chisemba I take this opportunity to express my sincere gratitude to those who were able to lodge their complaints at various police stations of the, the Uganda Police Force in the year 2023. Focus on strengthening discipline and adherence to human rights by introducing disciplinary courts in all districts across the country. The introduction of disciplinary courts marks a significant milestone for the Uganda Police Force. These courts aim at enforcing discipline within the force 
ensuring that officers adhere to professional standards and human rights. For instance, out of 933 complaints of human rights violations by the police, 794 were thoroughly investigated and action taken. Additionally, the force has been committed to improving the conditions in detention facilities. The remodeling of 10 facilities in various districts, including Payadoli, Kiriadongo, Paida, Marasha, and a number of others, has led to the elimination of the soil bucket system, providing 68% coverage of waterborne toilets. Also, the police, in coordination with sister security agencies, such as the UPDF, prisons, SFC, GIF, ESO, CI, and ESO, combated various forms of crime. These joint initiatives have resulted in the reduction of gun-related crimes, illegal firearms, and ammunition proliferation. Our success has been due to the hard work of the police in coordination with the sister security agencies, the reorganization of the CID, improved detection and investigation methods, and the establishment of a proactive network of credible intelligence. Furthermore, our strategic partnerships with the community, including the involvement of other intelligence components, have greatly contributed to disrupting and dismantling criminal elements targeting our country. I therefore express my gratitude to H. the President of Uganda for his guidance and enduring support to the force. I also thank the Minister of Internal Affairs and his entire team at the Ministry headquarters for their stewardship throughout the year. This by groups like ADF, the force has remained dedicated to its mission. The force has also worked extensively on resolving cases related to domestic violence, land conflicts, armed robberies, to mention but a few. Furthermore, I commend the increased cooperation of police with the Office of the DPP, the Judiciary, and other partners within the criminal justice system. As we focus on future policy, there are critical areas that the institution must address. These include the following. Improving the general welfare of the personnel, conducting specialized trainings, carrying out more recruitment to address the police population ratio. As I conclude, I thank the director CID and all those involved in organizing this occasion. Now,